everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's almost Christmas time and it's time to make Christmas cookies. I'm going to make these cookies for my family and of course for Santa. In this video, I will show you how to bake them and decorate them. But of course, you can decorate how you would like to. Okay, now let's get started and see the ingredients. Woo! Here are all the main ingredients we need to make the batter of the cookies. You need white granulated sugar, eggs, salt, all-purpose flour, this one's optional, almond extract, baking powder, vanilla extract, and unsalted butter. Now, let's get mixing. The first step is to add two sticks of butter and it has to be soft. See? It has to leave like a print. The next step is to add a cup of granulated sugar. Now it's time to mix. until it's nice and creamy. So, you see how it's all around? Well, I'm gonna use this spatula to scoop it into the middle. check if your batter is ready then you would start by grabbing a little bit and pinching it if you can still feel the sugar then you need to mix a little bit more I tested mine and mine's pretty good so we're gonna add one egg and we're gonna add one and one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract One and a half. Okay. Then we can add half a teaspoon of almond extract. And then we mix. Okay, we're gonna set this batter aside for now and we're gonna get the flour ready. You need two cups and one and a half of flour and you need three fourths of baking powder. And then you're going to need three-fourths of salt. Okay, and now we're going to mix. to the batter and we're going to do it little by little so there will be no bumps in the batter.
it's smooth, but it's a little too sticky to roll out. So we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for two hours for it to chill out. What I recommend is putting one part on the wrap and wrap it up and press on it a little bit, then put it in the fridge. So we're gonna do that. Pressing it down a little bit so it's smoother, but I also want to try to make it in a disc shape, like this. I'm working on the second part right now, and it's the same thing. So you're going to put it there, wrap, 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 and turn it over. And pat it. Okay, now both of them are ready to go to the refrigerator. While we're waiting for my cookie batter, I'm going to make my own frosting. I'm not buying it from the store. So, to make it, you need food coloring in case you want to change the color. You need marine powder, water, and powdered sugar. Now, let's get to making. I added 500 grams of powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of marine powder. Now I'm gonna slightly mix it. Now it's time to add one and a half cup of water. Then mix. I think I'm done. As you can see, the Texture is kind of like toothpaste, and that would be great for the outline of the cookie, but for the fillings, we need it a little bit more liquidy. So, I have a little right here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Then I'm gonna mix it. As you can see, the texture has changed into a more creamy shampoo type, and I'm gonna Put some of that creamy white in this bag because I need some white for the cookies. Okay, I put in the last one and I'm going to close it up so it's sealed. And then we can use it. I made another batch and this time it's not going to be white. It's going to be green because I'm going to use the green for Christmas trees. As you can see, I'm mixing and it's turning a pretty green and Every time it gets too light, I add another drop or two, so it gets a little bit darker. Okay, now that it's ready, I'm gonna put it in a bag again, and we're gonna move on to a different color. I finished making the icing, and I have several different colors, so the icing job is done. Now, let's go check on the cookie batter and finally make those cookies. As you can see, I rolled out my dough, and now I'm going to try to use different cu cookie cutter shapes. And I'm going to try to stay as close to the edges as possible, so I can make even more cookies. So I'm making a gingerbread, an angel, of course a tree.
And now my space is full, so it's time to take out the scraps. I'm rolling the second part of dough, and if it's too sticky, then you can add a little bit of flour to make it less sticky. And try not to make it too thick or thin, just right. Put the cookies in the oven and set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to wait for the cookies about 10 minutes. I recommend checking before so they don't turn brown. Hey guys, I just took my first batch out of the oven and so far they look great. Except for that roasted one over there. But you'll learn from mistakes, right? The second batch is in the oven right now and I can't wait to see how those turn out. But for now, let's just put these somewhere so they can cool down. I finally started decorating cookies and I'm gonna decorate a Christmas tree first. I have different types of sprinkles. I feel like I'm gonna use these. And we have different, all these icings that I made earlier. So now let's get to decorating. I use the stick to fill this hole. So I drew a squiggly line and this is my special trick that I used on mostly Christmas trees. I'm going to try it on the star now. Okay, so you just draw a squiggly line like this and then you go down the center like this. Cool, right? That was a lot of work, baking and decorating, but it was all worth it. Look. It's so hard to choose one cookie for Santa, so let's make it a two. Okay, so I think this one and this one. Okay, I'm going to leave these on Christmas Eve on a plate for Santa to have. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe. See y'all next time. Bye.